Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our journey into learning just a little bit more of this amazing language. And I came up with the slogan, language is a currency of thinking. Okay, it shows you how Chinese languages for, uh, I mean, characters are formed, how they piece together, make meaning. And yesterday we came across a, a kind of a complicated visual uh, sense of Liu Guang Yi Cai that involves lighting, invo involves color, coloring, and how it behaves visually like flowing water um, with a certain rhythm um, and also over spilling, so blending of the color in the, in the visual sense. So it's a very, uh, to me, Chinese um, set phrases like this really add to the flavor of the language because it, it, it pieced together all these elements, lighting and coloring, and the sense of how they behave to create a visual, Im visual image. Okay, so today we continue with color, color <laughs> character, Cai, Yin Cai, Hong Pi. Okay, as you can see, it's a three character. So normally if it is three, it's most likely a contemporary expression. So it's not a time honored, um, elegant uh, literary expression uh, like uh, Liu Guang Yi Cai. But here, Cai Hong Pi, contemporary, I, I thought it was funny um, that contemporary people in its contemporary living um, apply, coined this um, phrase. Cai Hong Pi actually uh, forms a, a funny image because it's a contrast. So Cai, it's the same color, colorful, multiple color, form a certain pattern, okay. Hong, okay, Hong looks like this. And it came from two parts, okay. Meaning maker, the worm sign. This is a worm sign on the left. And the sound maker, Gong, on the right side. Okay, so we can understand like that, but okay, Gong, wow. If you see here, it's perfectly perpendicular. So Chinese is a very blocky, visually blocky character. I mean, this is like, <laughs> um, how to say, a poster child <laughs> of the type of character for Chinese. Two short lines horizontally and then connected by this vertical line. How blocky can it be more? And indeed, this character was, um, according to scholars, uh, used by the craftsman back then. And it's a craftsman's tool um, to be forming this perfectly perpendicular edges. And as you can see, not only craftsmen, it's like engineers, if you want to build a house, you want to make sure your house is standing perpendicular to the ground, right? And that's a very um, important tool back then or now, right? We need that. Uh, 90 degree angle to be sure, be sure, right? Because visually to check is a, we may make mistakes. So that's the type of tool. Um, and eventually it's just, it just means craftsman's tool or craftsman's space. And eventually it means craftsman, right? Anything that's what well, we call them craftsmen, but in today's profession, they could be engineer, civil engineers mechanical engineers, structural engineers, something like that, right? So um, we have a worm on the side and craftsman or engineering, you know, if it, in today's context on the, on the right side, um, how to make sense of that. And well, it was originally <laughs> mean to be a bridge. So I guess the behavior of the worm Sometimes uh, when they are walking, right, they will walk like this, right? And then when they are doing this arch thing, the kind of their body, the worm flexible body will, will look like that. So that's the shape of the thing. And then you have to, that means engineered, man-made object that's into this shape. So what is that? A bridge, very logical if you're thinking this way, right? So. Colorful bridge, oh, combined. What is that? Can you imagine what is a colorful bridge? It is rainbow. So that's Chinese way to say rainbow. Um, in English, when we say rainbow, right? It's a rain and a bow. So a bow, 
is this worm image. So instead of using worm <laughs> in Chinese uh, culture expression, we use the worm shape to mean this arch, but you use bow to mean arch, right? Same idea using different references. And rain is like uh, the occurrence, the setting. When rainbow occur is during the time when it's raining and a certain light and angle, then, right? So that's English. It has a certain science behind it um, of rainbow. But in Chinese, we use a visual sense. This is a colorful arch, basically. And that is a rainbow. Okay. P, okay. <laughs> it's a contrast to this beautiful rainbow nature, natural setting, right? I mean, to see a rainbow is a blessing. You don't often see that. It only occur, occurs under certain conditions, weather conditions, right? So that's rainbow. And P is a common occurrence, which is farting. Okay. Even if this is not... Um, you know, elegant or something literary, but this is part of life. And we, everybody do that as a common practice. So it's important that I show you this character. This came, um, and also this doesn't really have its ancient expressions. I mean, special characters that revealing is further of meaning. So the ancient ways looks just like that. Um, the top of it is a human body. So it's a dead body thing. So eventually it doesn't necessarily mean dead, but it means a body, okay? And the bottom is a sound maker. It sounds like a B. Um, and the, this sign, especially this on its own, um, it means knife. So knife, knife means comparing the two tools, right? Which one is sharper? So that's a kind of comparison. And... <laughs> It's a sound maker, it makes sense, right? Because P is kind of sound imitating that. I don't know, maybe Chinese fart differently. It's, <laughs> we made the sound of P to capture that. And because sometimes it, com it comes in multiples, it doesn't just one air sound, it's several sound beats, right? So we, we use this reputation also kind of to give you the sense of, okay, a cur multiple currents <laughs> there. So that's how far. So how to reconcile the two things? You have a rainbow placed next to fart. How <laughs> to make sense? Okay, so this is contemporary expression that people coined uh, to mean a fan base of some star or celebrity are you know, irrationally or idolizing this, their favorite favorite person on the planet. So whatever that person said or do um, or did, okay, are going to be glorified, beautified, and uh, praised upon, you know. So this is like um, very biased, flattering, right? So it's, it's kind of ass kissing, <laughs> but it's particularly describing at the contemporary behavior of the following, the fans um, of a celebrity do everything and they are going to convert even a fart from that idol or of them into a rainbow. <laughs> so that's the powerful, how powerful their flattering could be. It's really, um... <laughs> okay, so this, this is a symbol actually because this expression came into being in 2017, well, five years ago. And um, one uh, social media platform called Weibo in China created this icon, this yellow face figure <laughs> to me, ass kissing, right? Um, it's like everything they say is a rainbow. Um, okay, so that's a kind of uh, 彩虹屁, uh, in today's living. Cash into the currency of thinking by one word a day with Sophie. See you another day.